Good morning everybody, my name is GamerDudeHD. This is the day one of me eating healthy and watching my portion sizes. Let's get started. Alright, so, during this five days of portion control and exercising, I'm not going to be the only one doing it, it is also going to be my beautiful girlfriend, she's going to do this with me. She's going to do the five days with me, right? Sadly, yes. Yeah, she's going to do the five days with me, but she doesn't want to, but she knows she has to. I need it! She needs to! The worst part of this is, is the fact that this evening is the first of many Thanksgiving meals. It's Thanksgiving break? How am I supposed to wash my portions? It's not fair. So it's going to be extremely difficult, but we're going to try it anyway. This, is, this experiment isn't supposed to be 100%. Um, I could probably do it 100%, but I know it's not. Just, I just know it's not accurate. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. The worst thing about doing this experiment is the fact that I have to limit myself to chicken noodle soup and water. I can only limit myself to one Pepsi a day now, and I'm not feeling it. So, according to a cal caloriecalculator.net, I'm supposed to eat 1,947 calories a day to maintain my weight, 1,447 calories a day to lose one pound per week. I'm gonna try to do the 1,947 calories a day so I can just maintain my weight so I don't gain anything or lose anything. This chicken noodle soup I'm about to eat is 60 calories. So we're on, we're on the right track. We're on our way to the first of many Thanksgiving meals that I have to bear through for this five day experiment. It's five pounds worth of mashed potatoes and that's gonna be my like 3,000 calories for the day. Alright, it's the end of day one of the experiment. Well, I had way too much at dinner, but it's fine. But this I is didn't just have three shrimp. Yeah, she didn't just eat three shrimp, and I'm probably not about to go drain the whole crock pot of meatballs, but it's fine. End of day one. Right. So far, not so good. Can't wait to keep going. Not really, though. Hey, everyone. It's day two of the exercising and portion control. Yesterday was not very good, but now we have went and got some Wendy's. There's nothing about this that says I can't have fast food, so you can't catch me on that one. We each got a 10 piece nugget, small fry, and a water to drink. Normally I'd get like 20 nuggets and a medium fry or a large fry and like a large Dr. Pepper. We're taking little baby steps. Alright, I know I haven't taken any video all day today, but there's a reason for that. And that's because I woke up late today anyway. All I had was the Wendy's. I had my one pop for the day during work to keep myself awake. Now I'm going to go to Texas Roadhouse, and that's going to be the absolute hardest place to watch what I eat. So wish me luck. Alright guys, so it is the end of day two of this eating thing. I've had two meals today, two big meals today, no snacking, no nothing. And I had a 10 piece Wendy's meal and with a small fry, so that totaled up to about this much. And then the ribeye steak meal that I had at Texas Roadhouse totaled up to about about a thousand. So I actually got under my normal caloric intake for the day, which is good. I was in the 1700s range, and that's where I want to keep it. So that's my overview of today, and I hope to keep continuing this tomorrow. I'm going to do some exercising to go along with the caloric intaking, and you guys will see that. So. Thank you guys for being with me through all of this, and I will see you tomorrow on day three. Cut to day three. Hey everybody, that was the best editing cut of my entire life because I timed it on the clap. So this is day three of the not eating too much and exercising kick that I'm doing. I'm on my way to go to Sheets to meet my girlfriend, and we're gonna use their little menu selector thing in there, and maybe that'll be easier to portion control because you'll actually be able to see how much you, uh, you are able to get. Alright, I'm home. I had
had lunch and it wasn't a lot of calories. Here's how many calories I've had today so far. Um, I'm going to sit here and play games until I eat dinner. So far so good with this experiment. I'm going to be exercising this evening with like sit-ups, push-ups, and that's about it. Just a lot of like ab stuff because and I might go for a run like tomorrow but I'm just trying to take it easy today um so yeah that's all for day three so far and I'll see you guys at dinner my total caloric intake for the day was actually pretty much lower than it will ever be in my entire life and I'm gonna try to eat a little bit more tomorrow um, because I did not get even close to um, 1900 today. I only got up to about 1300. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on tomorrow. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to work out tomorrow. I, it's so hard to keep to these goals. But um, I'll come back to you tomorrow with my next subtopic. So, hey guys, it's day four of the uh, eating experiment of the eating healthy experiment, and we're on our way to MU Cafe. And I don't know how easy it's going to be to watch my portions there because I love MU Cafe. We keep going to all these restaurants that I just really love. Alright, as part of day four, I'm going to go on a run for my exercise. Me and my lovely grandmother right here. Are gonna go to Ritter Park. My lovely grandmother and I are gonna go to Ritter Park. She's gonna walk. I'm gonna run. I might walk with her. I don't know yet. We're back from our walk. I ended up not running, just walking the whole like mile. Actually, it's almost three. Almost three miles, because she actually walks it every so often. <laughs> I deserve a snack. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm done for the day. Like I haven't eaten anything except for that meal at um, MU Cafe. Uh, this is how many calories I've eaten today. I don't plan on eating anything else for the day. It's already pretty late. It's like midnight, <laughs> so I'm going to sleep. So I've only had one meal today and that's how many calories it was. Tomorrow's the last day of the experiment and I'm so glad it's almost over. Before I completely sign off on this day though, I want to go over what happens in your body when you overeat as part of the second of four subtopics. Number one, your stomach begins to swell and that's just not good for your body. You start to feel really bloated and gassy, which does not help anything whatsoever. For a while, if you overeat too much, then you can start to feel heartburn. Also, your excess calories that you take in from overeating are stored in your legs and everywhere else that calories can be stored, which is not a good play, which is not a good thing at all to happen for you. This also causes your organs to work in overtime, and that means when you digest a really big meal, your organs have to work in overdrive, secreting extra hormones and enzymes to break down the food. And when this happens on the regular, issues can start to happen with metabolism and endocrine function and that kind of thing. That is all for this subtopic, and I will see you guys tomorrow with subtopics three and four. It is day five of the experiment. We're done. We're almost done. Yep. We're almost finally done. I've somehow lost seven pounds. I don't know if it's just from this, but I'm pretty happy. And I haven't lost anything because I hate myself, I well, guess. Well, you just wanted to maintain your weight anyway. Well, this is true. So we're on our way to Cracker Barrel now to have like a little Thanksgiving thing with our friends. And then tomorrow I get to gorge myself on Thanksgiving meal. So this is gonna be great. Spoiler alert, we didn't go, we didn't go run. So disappointed. Who walked around Target? Does that count? So technically we did walk. Yep. So go Just on. Just not outside. Just not outside. Yeah, <laughs> where it's freezing. And here's how many calories I ate at Cracker Barrel. All right, so we are here. We have made it in Ohio. And this is how many calories I had on the way up here. Because I definitely had a large fry at McDonald's, which is not the most healthy thing I could eat. So yeah, I'm glad the five days is basically over and I'm ready to eat good food again. Here is subtopic number three, which is what does healthy eating do to your mind, like to your mood, or just to your mental health? 
So overall, it boosts your mental capacity, able to learn more and whatnot, as I have stated previously. It lowers the risk of developing certain diseases, and it can also counteract stress, which is a big, huge deal. And some ways to promote this are, don't skip meals, snack well, snack healthily, and work on balancing your diet. Don't eat too much, don't overeat, which is the whole point of this. And then don't over diet, meaning don't eat so little, that your body gives up on you. So that is subtopic number three, and four is right now. Subtopic number four and the final one of this experiment. What happens to your body when you under eat? You become deficient in vitamins and minerals. You're more susceptible to digestive problems. You have a higher risk of intestinal cancer. You can actually lose so much weight that you become anorexic. You're more likely to develop diabetes. Your blood pressure may also start to rise. And yes, that is with lower, with under eating, your blood pressure can still rise. You also have a much greater risk of depression. All the subtopics, it's over, it's done. Bless. Okay. Here's how many calories I ate this evening. Here's how many calories I've eaten today. It's over, this project is done, it's completed, I did it. I did it to like 80%, I hated every second of it. Don't ever do this project. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in class. Goodbye.